Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Nico. Today, I'll be showing y'all how to build this Red Hood helmet, guys. Oh, and the other eye fell out. I kind of pulled the wire. But anyways, guys, I'm going to show y'all how to build it. It's a two-piece build. It's the front and it's the back. I'm going to show you how to orientate it. Then I'm going to show you how to sand, paint, prime, and do all that stuff, guys. Let's get right into it. Okay, guys, so we're at, here at the computer, and these are the files, the exact files I got from uh, DO3D or Do3D, however you want to say. But this is the one I got. It is completely for free as you see and then this one is for the v2 you can get the v2 and it just gives you like interchangeable eyes and stuff if if you're cool with that if you want that but what i downloaded was the free files right here guys so let's get to orientating right now okay guys so as you see we're here in the uh what's it called kira something like that i don't know elegu kira right here and i'm going to be printing my helmet on the three max my settings are going to be same as always guys um my layer height is going to be 2, and fill density is going to be a 10. Gyro pattern, print speed is going to be a 60, 65% uh, uh, overhang, 3% uh, support density, and I built on a raft. So what you're going to do is you're going to click the helmet, and you're going to scoot it forward by 3. Make sure it's on snap rotation. You can go 1, 2, 3 right here. You're going to put, uh, click the snap rotation, and you're going to angle it back about 3% right there. And it just so it can really cover these sides right here. And then it can get these top parts as you see right here. And then so what you want to do is actually support block those parts out. These parts out right here. And then this, right, this part right here. This part right there. And just do all this right here. Or and you can what you can also do is click one. Come over here to make it bigger. Click that. And you can just grow just like this, and you can make it easier. So this, that's how I'm going to do it, and then you can support this part off too, right there. So the only thing that will be um, that the supports will be generated is the cheek right, uh, this top part of the cheek right there. Same with that, this lip piece right here, and this chin part right there. We can slice that, see what hours we get, and let's get right into it. Okay, guys. So on the Neptune 3 Max, guys, it's going to take a day, 20 hours and 13 minutes, 353 kilograms, guys. Uh, this is the way I printed it. It's easy. It's smooth. Let's get into the back piece right now. Okay, guys. So on this back piece, I'm printing it on the Neptune 4 Pro, guys, right here. And all I'm going to do is just I'm going to tilt it back to right there. And just going to build. You can center this a little bit more if you would like to. But I just put slice. I'm going to slice it. And I, honestly, what you can also do too, real quick, is uh, do this. Place one block right there, a support blocker. Tap it and make it grow. Just grow like that. So the only thing that it'll be supporting is this bottom part right here of the edge, which is the only part you really need to do. And if you want to tilt it a little forward, you definitely can if you just want to get this part lower. But you don't need to. It's going to take 3 hours. It's going to be 3 hours, 30 minutes, and 33 seconds. You can see the full um, time on screen of how much it's going to be and then how much grams it's going to be. But again, see you can see here, right here, it's just going to support this. And it's just going to build straight up like that, which is actually really good. Now, let's get into the prime sand painting right now. Okay, guys. So, as you see, we're here in the back, and we're about to sand these right now. We just printed them, two pieces. Now, we're going to sand them. So, what, what I suggest doing is get them actually sanded because it's going to save a bunch of time, which I do have. But what, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand, prime, and paint. Just like I said, you can click the little bar down here again to skip through to the part you want. The sanding paper I'm going to use is a 60, um, 80, 120, 220, 320, and just keep going like that. And then you can wet sand if you want. And then I'm just going to go all around. Just go all around and keep doing it. As you see, there's some spots here. I don't know if you can see that right there. And it's just going to sand out, sand out, sand out. And then keep going it the whole way through. Do it again. And then keep slowly adding up because the more time you put in it, the more time, the better result you're going to get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand down all of this and then we're going to be right back. But real quick, if like supports, let's say, is stuck in there like this, what you can do is use a soldering iron. It's not on. We can use a soldering iron and go right here and just smooth it out as best as possible. Also, guys, protect yourself. Use a mask so you don't inhale any of these uh, fumes when you're soldering or when you're, um, uh, what's it called, sanding this, guys. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I just finished the priming. This is the second 
coat it is dry now as you see it came out really good and it actually did a really good for this back you can still see some but the next thing i'm gonna put on here is gonna make it a lot better so and but when i was doing it i was like oh how are we gonna attach it which i already thought of but don't go further past this that's why it is a cut through the before the painting what you're gonna get some is some elastic strap um that's a elastic strap and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get some cutters and then you want uh some fill some like a raft or something to combine it maybe super glue and i got foam here so what you want to do is you want to do the inside of it first so put the pad put, um the padding put this so when you're doing it it doesn't affect the paint when it's done and you don't scratch it so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna cut up the this and i'm gonna place it in the inside in three places i'm doing this one handed i'm gonna place it right here at the top and then place it right here at the sides so that's what i'm gonna do and the easiest way i do it or how i do it is i cut it up about i'm gonna do i'm gonna cut i'm gonna cut it up i'm gonna show you in a second and then i use a soldering iron right here i just go at the lowest setting which is which is 200 and then i just cut out some of this put it across some of some of the elastic straps so it just sticks in it holds it and it works every single time i work i do it with the iron man hands i do it with almost anything that do elastic strap or to hold anything down is with this so we're, i'm gonna do it right now okay guys as you see i cut up the elastic strap uh the elastic the elastic band elastic strap and i cut the filament pieces and what i'm just gonna do is i'm gonna solder them and i'm just gonna keep it right here it's gonna lock in place when it gets solid again from being melted it's gonna uh, it's gonna cool down it's gonna turn solid and then it's gonna it's not gonna be as good it's not gonna be as easy uh, to take it off you can use super glue you can use whatever you want this is how i use it this is the tools i have so let's get into it okay guys so i just finished so what i did and you see how i put it those um those straps right there make them up just a tiny bit longer just so it's a little easier to pull out i can still put my head through it but i do have to like open it a little bit put um a piece of elastic there and i just got some foam that came with the printer i just put it there and then what i did is you have to be careful and wear a mask so you don't um, inhale it is I just went the soldering iron and I just like went a little bit in to where the length of the of the raft and I just love using these for everything I don't know it's just easy um but I just cut it up put some pieces in it did, did that and then there's that's why they're pushed in it it's not one full connected piece it's just like I cut a piece split it in half put two and two and I just soldered that right there I will put the LED eyes in which they're actually over here which I actually will put will put the LEDs I, the LED eyes in. But first, um, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Now let's get to the painting. Okay, guys, so we're back inside. And so while I was uh, making the video, there's a, a really bad storm that was actually coming. And it was going to take a couple of days. So that's why I just wanted to finish the helmet so I could get the video out. And I didn't, I forgot to record some of the parts for it when I was uh, painting it. But after I sanded it and I primed it, this is the exact colors I used. Rusto the Rust-Oleum Metallic Gold uh, Finish. I did a, a two light coats of that. Then I did um, the Metal Cast Red. Now you just need to build it up over time. It's like, oh, two coats, then no. You need to slowly build it up over time. And then I just ended it with the Duplicolor Perfect mac Match Finish. As you see, it came out good. Um, little things here and there because I did put it on the stand. And it kind of blew, um, the wind kind of blew because of the storm. But uh, what I want to do is I want to weather it. As you see, there's some spots here and just all around. And this one like chips or whatever. And just make it look cool. And because it's supposed to be metal helmet. And then I can put some chrome and do it like that. Now let's get into the eyes. Okay, guys. So now we're going to get into the eyes just like I said. And the way I'm going to uh, put um, the LED eyes in is uh, this kind of glued. Sorry. Is uh, as you see, I have blue. You can use blue or you can go comma accurate as white but I like the blue and what I did is I just put them in here uh, the way I did, just did it is as you see I put them in here as of this Let's see if you can do it I just hold it right there and I'll just put some tape you can get some tape you can get some electric tape um, but when I get some more because I need to record the Iron Man video when I get some more um, I'm actually gonna do the raft the exact same thing wrapped hold it down melt it in and do it like that just so it's all 
secured in place when I do that and this same thing guys just hold it and then as you can see from the front if I can bring it around from the front sorry you can see it like that so easily you can easily do that put some tape um, actually make it stick the reason I'm not doing it is just like I said I have the Iron Man video to do it I only have one of these which I'm gonna be ordering more soon um, but let's go yo guys look at it is done look at that guys this is cool. Oh, the ice came out. Uh, that's funny. I just had them in. Oh, here, let's see. And put them back. Oh. As you see, guys, it's just a simple one, two. I just put some. I just put some tape in here, guys, and that was it. Uh, when I just took it off, I kind of took this bottom wire out by accident. But as you see, guys, it looks good. I kind of have some. I kind of had some clear, um, some of the clean spots, some like damage roughed up spots because the way i wanted to do a little bit of a battle damage just like i said guys and this is pretty cool this is like an easy one day build um you can definitely get it down to less than um 20 hours or you could definitely if you have more uh than one printer you can definitely print both pieces um in a day and probably get this full helmet done in uh one day with an electric sander put some time put some effort and the other eye fell out. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And in the next, uh, in the next uh, video I put for Red Hood, it is going to be a weathering tutorial, guys. So I'm going to show you how to weather it, how to gunk it up a little bit. If you want, uh, if you want to, and you just get some like paints and just like um, put some or get some like silver chrome paint, and then just put just like put it on some because it's supposed to be a metal helmet. So just like put some and chip it away at some pieces. So you can always do that, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys all next time. Let's go.